Welcome to eLearning Week Preparedness Briefing from Center for Instructional Technology. This presentation covers why do we need eLearning Week, who is the project owner, options available for lecture capture and conducting tutorials, support and other resources. So let's begin with the aims and objective. This project aims to support students and staff who might be quarantined and unable to attend lectures during emergencies like SARS, H1N1 or a terrorist attack. E-Learning Week is part of business continuity planning initiated by the Office of Provost to ensure business runs as usual in such events. It also has few underlining objectives to test university's ability to continue its teaching functions with minimum interruptions to student study plan in the event of a major disruption. Test readiness of network and e-learning infrastructure. Promote awareness and usage of e-learning tools and online learning among faculty and students. To that end, based on the Office of Provost Directives, Partner departments like Computer Center, CIT and CDTL come together to facilitate this exercise where Computer Center provides the network and internet infrastructure. IT care supports the students and IT units facilitates the exercise. CDTL conducts faculty training and post e-learning week survey. CIT does the project management, conduct briefings and offer its course management system and other e-learning tools to the staff. We have conducted e-learning week in NUS since 2008 starting with Department of Communication and New Media. In 2009, first campus-wide e-learning week was conducted focusing only on the lectures. However, this e-learning week in the coming semester will cover lectures, tutorials and seminars for all the undergraduate and graduate modules and lab sessions, exams, assessments, etc. All faculties except the Faculty of Law and Dentistry will conduct e-learning week in the week 5 of the next semester, that is 9th September to 13th September, followed by the Faculty of Law and Dentistry in week 8, that is 7th October to 11th October. The Yongsi Cho Conservatory of Music is exempted. CIT will create the basic modules on IVLE. You are strongly recommended to employ IVLE tools to take this to the next level. For example, you may upload your lecture notes in the Workbench Maintain Discussion Forum or use announcement to alert students via SMS. Staff can engage the students further by uploading pre-recorded lectures in multimedia channel. Let's look at some of the options available to the staff for delivering lectures. You may consider one of the following. Take note, these are not listed in any particular order. Webcast and Podcast Screen Recording Adobe Presenter or Breeze, WebEx for seminar style lectures, others if you are comfortable with any proprietary or social media tools. You may also upload simple PowerPoint to IVLE Workbin if you think it will be effective but ensure to add your notes in the notes section or alternatively record your lecture as mp3 file. Webcast is one of the CIT's core services where CIT technical team will record your lecture while you deliver your lecture in the lecture theatre. What you see on the screen is the final product that is seen by the students. CIT employs a commercial tool called Panapto to do this. This software will capture your video and anything that goes on your lecture PC, in this case PowerPoint. At the bottom is the timestamp for the students to take the lecture from their point of interest. You may consider using your previous webcast recording if you wish to or request for a new recording. Following few slides talks about do-it-yourself options like screen recording tool or Breeze. Screen recording tool allows you to record your desktop with voiceover as a video file. CIT has two options, Camtasia Relay and ink to go Camtasia Relay is a server-based lighter version of screen recording tool. It is very easy to use with literally two buttons to worry about. The blue button is to test the working of the microphone and the red one is to actually record it. Once the red button is pressed, this client program will minimize leaving the desktop for you to record your lecture. After the recording, you may trim the final video in the front and at the back. CIT Relay is also tightly integrated to IVLE and facilitates the video sharing in few clicks. Ink2Go is another screen recording tool from a local vendor that supports inbuilt features like annotation, webcam import, whiteboard, etc. Unlike Relay, this software is available not only to the staff but also to the students. 
you may consider this for a scenario where you expect the students to record their presentation and share it with you for your review. Breeze on the other hand is a PowerPoint based authoring tool to quickly convert your slide into a rich multimedia presentation. If you are already comfortable with PowerPoint, you may consider exploiting the Breeze advantages. All the slide titles of your presentation are automatically converted into index points. Like webcast, students have the flexibility to take the lecture from any point and Breeze is also integrated to iValley for easy sharing. For those who need to conduct live lecture for big class size with minimum interaction can make use of our web conferencing tool WebEx. More details on this will be discussed in the tutorial options. To recap, basic iVilly presence is highly recommended. However, you are strongly encouraged to add your recorded lecture using one of the lecture recording options discussed earlier. For conducting tutorials, you may employ WebEx, web conferencing tool. In the past e-learning week, many staff also used iVilly discussion forum and chat application. However, WebEx offers better support for student interactions. WebEx Communication Incorporated is a Cisco company that provides on-demand collaboration, online meeting, web conferencing and video conferencing applications. In other words, lecturer and students can join virtual classroom in real time from various locations. WebEx provides dedicated space for the lecturer to share his slides and use interactive whiteboard. Additionally, it also supports desktop sharing, application sharing, etc. WebEx allows you to break your classroom into smaller groups, assigning them a different breakout rooms to discuss. Lecturer can pop into each breakout room to provide guidance and bring the students back to the main classroom later. Let's quickly run through some lessons learnt. Early preparation. Regardless of the tool used, early preparation was of paramount importance. CIT encourages you to confirm your request for services like webcast and webex as soon as possible to help us organize our limited resources. You may need some time to try the do-it-yourself tools. Leaving it for the last minute may put you in a risk arising from technical problems. Be prepared. Have a plan. Scripting your lecture notes will help to stay focused. Ensure the required software plugins are installed. The necessary hardware like microphone, webcam, etc. are available. Take note not to convert your lecture as it is. It is recommended to break them into smaller chunks of 15 minutes each. For example, by topic. This will help you to manage your recording better and it will also be easy on students. Keep things simple. A simple solution can be deployed fast and there will be fewer human and technology pitfalls. Experiment with technology when all is well to prepare for pandemic situation. It is perfectly fine to leave some imperfections during the recording. Your students will understand. There is no need to set the bar to Hollywood standards. Moderate expectations. CIT recognizes that online tool can't match the real classroom experience. So always keep the emergency angle in mind. Hence, you may need to be flexible to change your teaching style to suit the online medium and accommodate its limitations. If you are using WebEx, it is very important to let the students know what you expect. For example, ensure they join the virtual classroom with microphone if they need to ask questions. You may find all the relevant information related to e-learning week including the topic discussed in this presentation in the e-learning week preparation guide. The link for the e-learning week preparation guide can be found in the CIT website right on the top left menu. Likewise, link to the student FAQ will be directly sent to the students for their perusal. For the staff training on relevant tools, CIT works closely with CDTL that offers training in these areas. You may register at CDTL website either by clicking under the weekly highlights or look for workshops and seminars under programs and services. CDTL has confirmed the following training sessions for the staff. Lastly, if you have any query related to e-learning week, feel free to write to us. CIT will open an e-learning week forum on IVLE for staff and students to register their issues that they may be facing during the e-learning week. CIT will closely monitor and try to resolve it as soon as possible.
we sincerely thank you for your time and support